I had a feeling it would go right into the cutscene. Okay, good to know what I actually figured out. How it works. Some random patch of dust is slowly falling down. That was weird. Thanks for all you've done, Valimar. I'll be counting on you if anything else comes up. Acknowledged. Prepare yourself for your next encounter with the astronaut, my witness. Don't worry. I will. We lost last time, but I know that's not all I'm capable of. As long as we're all together, I know I can get stronger. I eagerly await your results. Looks like he went to sleep. So, this is what the great Ashen Knight looks like up close, huh? I've heard all manner of rumor about it, but I never expected I'd stand in the presence of a legend. I can't possibly begin to thank you enough. I don't know what I would have done if you hadn't come to my aid. Thank you. You probably really? wouldn't get on away really easily because, you know, anime. And that goes for everyone else, too. Thanks for coming to rescue me, guys. <laughs> We're just happy you're okay. Just don't scare us like that again, alright? <laughs> True. We were all on edge waiting for you to get back. <laughs> and yet you somehow managed to come out unscathed with her highness in tow. Yeah, somehow. You make it sound like it was easy. It was. Let's be honest. Well, easy or not, it was worth going on board. I got plenty of useful info out of it. Such as? So funny enough, I'd say their invitation worked to my benefit more than theirs. You know, we can just bombard Ymir now again, just like we did before. Like, what exactly is gonna stop them? <laughs> I guess there's no harm in looking at the positives now that all's said and done. Look at you, acting mature and all grown up. Brings a tear to my eye. <laughs> Looks like we have some catching up to do. I'd like to follow Reen's lead, and extend my thanks to each of you as well. Thank you, all of you. And, dear brother, it's a relief to see you safe and sound. Though I never pictured my great escape would end with you in this airship, of all things. <laughs> we did time our appearance fabulously, if I do say so myself. My only regret is that we weren't able to blow in with a storm of rose petals when we boarded them. Hmm. Perhaps I should have asked Emma to look into the feasibility of making such a magnificent entrance. Hmm. Oh, man! That would have been so cool! Well, it's probably not impossible. Now you're just being silly. Sounds about right for our prince. <laughs> well, at the very least, I'd say we're clear of any immediate danger. And given this opportunity, I'd like to sit down with you to discuss our situation and exchange any pertinent information. I want to have a dialogue with change if all the randoms, random haha <laughs> were removed. But first, I think we have a few more reunions to celebrate. Reen! <sighs> what are you doing here? Toa! George! I thought I heard your voices when we started flying away from the Pantagruel. So you were on board too? <laughs> you bet. Good to see you, Reen. She looks so concerned. <laughs> Whoa! Oh yes, everyone wants Rin's dick, obviously. It, it's come on, really Tava. you. You're really okay. Oh my God! Come on, Tava. You can do better than that. No sooner had we found out that you were still alive, we got told you had been taken by the Alliance. We've been so, so worried about you. Seriously, every girl was in this position in this game. It's ridiculous. I'm a real troublemaker, aren't I? Sorry, Toa. But I'm glad to see you and George made it out okay. It's like, I, I could just bet this is someone's fantasy, like, oh... I want every girl in the game to be my... Uh, to be very concerned about me. I'm the developer. Everything I've said to you has been at the back of my mind ever since we parted ways in Trista. I'm trying to remember, what exactly did he say? Uh... And it's kept me going every step of the way. So, thank you. Oh! <laughs> you remembered. Yeah, I did. <laughs> you 
promised me you wouldn't die. And you didn't. Ah, uh, yeah, totally. I remembered that. We still need to work on that one. But I know you're not the kind of guy who'd go back on his word. See? Rain's a guy you can count on. Because the story dictates it. Was he always gnome? Nice to see you're holding up, okay? Uh, wait, George Gnome? But that just sounds weird. Still can't believe you made it through all that fighting in Trista in one piece, but... Well, here you are. Good to see you again, George. But how'd you two end up on the Courageous to begin with? Yeah, that's an actually interesting point. We'll bring you up to speed once we all sit down for our meeting. There's a conference room on one of the upper floors. We can meet there when you're ready. How many floors are there? This is not a conference floor. This is the piloting floor. I mean room. Same thing. Okay, there we go. This is very much like uh, our sale, our, our sale they, they, The Courageous began it. its independent operations right before Heimdall was first occupied. I realized what the Alliance was planning, so I gathered a skeleton crew, met with Viscount Arsade, I could have sworn you said I see before. And we hurried straight to Trista, where we found your classmates locked in combat with the Azure Knight. Also, I don't know what it is about his voice, but he just doesn't sound right. Like, did we change voice actor? Because I could have sworn he sounded a little different. Like, there's no flamboyance to him. I see. That explains why you were in Trista. I shudder to think what would have happened if not for the Courageous's timely appearance. What have you been doing since then, Father? I hadn't heard anything about your whereabouts until now. Eventually, we were able to shake off the Azure Knight's pursuit. And we've been traveling around the country ever since, preparing to find you and take you on board. George and I haven't been here long. The principal managed to get in touch with the Courageous without anyone noticing and sent us here. He did? I hope he's still all right. By the way, what happened to Major Vander? Yeah, what did happen to him? You two are always joined at the hip. Exactly. Ah, uh, alas, he is currently indisposed. His military obligations have him heading up the 7th Armored Division in Western Erebonia. No, that's just sad. Your dynamic was actually really funny, and you have none of it right now. You're just boring. They're working with your former instructor, Major Nightheart, as well. Like, seriously, all fun was sucked out of this character. With him, too? So he's over in the west now. Huh. <laughs> I should have known the 4th Armor Division's ace wouldn't get his ass kicked so easily. All oh, right. Dad said he'd heard from him too, remember? Yeah, I totally remember. Still, the west side of the country contains Marquis High Arm Sutherland Province, along with Duke Cayenne's Lemaire Province. The fighting there would no doubt be even more fierce than it is here in eastern Erebonia. Correct. A large percentage of the Imperial Army's military strength still remains intact. But the Noble Alliance forces' constant attacks have put them at a disadvantage. On top of that, a number of townships in the region have been caught in the crossfire and suffered great losses. That's terrible. <sighs> I'd heard as much, but it still pisses me off to hear it. With the 3rd and 4th Armored Divisions occupied on the eastern side of the country, one can only assume the Noble Alliance intends to use that as an opportunity to crush the forces in the West. Yeah, but they're not stupid. I bet the army in the West is putting up a pretty good fight by themselves. You know, that makes me think, like, would Melee say something like that? Like, would she even care about something like that? I can just imagine Melee being like, Oh yeah, you have your boring talks about stuff while I, I don't know, I play pool with Fee or something. It's too early to call things just yet. An astute assessment. The situation in the Western Theater could change at a moment's notice. Right. But that means we're uncertain what course to pursue now. And having said that, we have a question to pose to all of you. The question, really. I won't marry you, Olivier. With the whole of the Empire caught in the throes of civil war. Oh, okay. What exactly do all of you intend to do from here on out? Us? We were in the midst of discussing that when Reen was taken to the Pantagruel, in fact. Hmm. 
have a dance party. It's about as serious as the actual story in this game. <laughs> this is a full-on war, and our fellow Erebonian countrymen stand on both sides. No one here is delusional enough to think that a group of students like us are capable of stopping it by ourselves. Still, during our field studies, we found ourselves up against the problems this nation faces again and again. And because we have that experience, I believe there's a place for us to change things in all this, a part only we can play. We may not be able to compete head-on with the Alliance, but together we can move things in the right direction for Erebonia as a whole. <laughs> that was wonderful, Reen. Hmm. Hmm. Still, we aren't all gathered here for the same reasons. I think you pretty much just repeated everything, everything all of you already said before. Be it rescuing Elise or settling things with Crow, we've all got something that we personally want to accomplish. But accomplishing those things won't be possible with the situation as it stands. And that's why, no matter how stacked the odds are against us, or how fierce the fighting becomes, we want to put everything we have into making all the difference we possibly can, in whatever way we can. I think I speak for everyone in Class 7 when I say that. You bet. I agree completely. We may all come from different walks of life, but this time, that can work for us. Exactly. We have something no one else does, and because of that, we can do things no one else can. I think if I was there in that meeting, I would just take Elise and sit there patting her, ignoring the actual meeting. And what kind of class would we be if we didn't take advantage of that to protect the people and things we love? As well as find our own answers to the questions we have looming over us. Wait, not Elise. God damn, what's her name? I already forgot her name. Seriously, that's too many characters. As Reen said, however big or small it is in the long run, we have a place in this war. And we have every intention of following it. Sounds like it'll be a pain, though. Eh, no biggie. We're class seven! Throw in a few of Reen's trademark speeches and we're raring to go! <laughs> Look at you kids. You all sound like you've really thought long and hard about this. <laughs> Class 7, I'm proud to serve. And you guys aren't the only ones who feel that way. Everyone at Thor's has something to bring to the table. Remember the Academy's motto? Arise, O youth, and become the foundation of the world. Oh, yeah, that's right. That was what Principal Van Dyke said to us at the welcoming ceremony. The words of Dreykel's The Lion Heart serve to inspire us to this day, it would seem. <laughs> of course. They ring as true as ever. It's like you didn't even have to think about it. You guys just knew. Yeah, you should be proud of yourselves. And it's true that Thor students are scattered all over the country right now. But I'm sure that each and every one of them are fighting too. And they feel the exact same way that you guys do. I understand. Your Highness. Indeed. I figured you would have already given it some thought, but I wasn't expecting such a stirring conviction. But I think this at least settles the matter of what course to take. If you would do the honors, Captain. As you wish. We're about to do something neither side would ever expect us to do. We're going to entrust this ship to you. Oh, I thought they didn't see that coming. Oh, seriously, I'm falling asleep. This is boring me so much. I just... I feel like in five minutes when this cutscene is going to be over, I'm going to be like, oh. And something happened, there was a cutscene? I don't remember any of that. Because it was just so freaking meaningless. From here on out, the Courageous is yours to command as you see fit. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that, that was good. Uh, father, would you mind elaborating? <laughs> it means exactly what it sounds like. The operation of this ship will be left entirely to your discretion. I imagine your journey to make a difference in this war needs a home base to begin from. Well, yes, but... But then what will you do? We plan to disembark and make our way to the Western Provinces. Once there, we'll begin working with the 7th Armored Division and the other neutral forces in the region. The intention is to ensure that as few innocents as possible are harmed by this conflict. I was actually worried this airship might prove a bit too conspicuous to aid us in pursuing that goal. 
But with us headed west, we'd be leaving all of Eastern Erebonia in your hands. Um, wow. <sighs> I see. That does make the most logical sense. Uh, I wouldn't say that, but okay. Kinda. If we got the Courageous, we could give our third faction some real weight. Neither side could afford to ignore us. <laughs> I'm not even sure the Guild could come up with a plan this wild. They could. They did the trails in the sky. <laughs> well, it's fair to say I've learned a lot from the way the Guild's members handle things, yourself included. Oh, and Alfin? No, seriously, you're just repeating everything that happened in Trails in the Sky, only doing it worse. Yes? I'd like to ask you to remain on board the Courageous as well. This ship is technically the property of the Arner household, fathers in particular. It should give them a certain freedom to act if they have concrete backing from a member of the Imperial family. <gasps> That doesn't have a way of saying, oh, you're gonna be useless in helping us, so you can just stay here. Henceforth, I, Princess Alfin Rice Arnor, will guarantee the legitimacy of their actions. So do whatever you see fit to do. You have my full support. Th thank you, Your Highness. Wow! We are truly honored to have you with us. No turning back now. Yeah, seriously. I can tell if Laura's voice actress gives too much shit or not enough. <laughs> not at all. We hereby humbly accept custody of the Courageous. Please, leave Eastern Erebonia to us. We'll be counting on you then. Huh. I'm looking forward to toasting your future successes. Another day Class 7 was entrusted with the day-to-day -day running of the Courageous. Like Count Acid and Prince, Prince Olivier decided they would disembark near the Gram and travel to Western Erebonia across the lake. And after receiving the bare minimum of instructions on how to operate a ship, its bright-eyed new owners set the course for Ebel Highway. I forget where that is. God, this is not memorable, memorable at all. Oh, goddamn. I'm seriously trying to give a shit and just... I'm just really, really trying, but it's so hard. It's like the most boring, predictable story you could possibly come up with, executed in the most lazy way possible. I mean, there's still parts I like, like, you know, actual I'm characters. I'm leaving you in charge of the Courageous' day-to-day -day operations. I, why her? I don't doubt you'll make a fine acting. Would be an honor. She would make the most adorable captain. <laughs> Look at her, she's so cute. Oh, come on, why are you not voice acted? Oh, it really does suit you. Yeah, the size is just right, too. Ah. Fortunately, I had a spare hand that was the size smaller. That was quite fortunate. You kinda look like a cute mascot, like a human Mishi. <laughs> Perhaps we should cap capitalize on this opportunity with an irresistible line of Captain Tova merchandise. <laughs> that sounds like a wonderful idea. No, oh, you're not terrible. I gotta say, my heart is a nice touch, Tova. It's really sushi. Yep. You definitely look like a part. Look the part of a captain with it. <laughs> I think things will be just fine here in your in our absence. Yeah, you guys won't be needing us around much longer. So you guys are taking off, uh, taking off then? You'll be disembarking together with father, yes? Yeah, it was nice to help out until you guys get back together again. But now that you are, there's no use in me sticking around. If the situation too last what it is. I decided to help out over there instead. I intend to return to commanding of the RMP. I believe that's the best way I can contribute to bringing this war to an end. To an end. I understand. But what about Sharon? Bye bye, Claire. If you bump with the Lecter somewhere, make sure you say hi for me. Hmm. I'll be sure to do so. 
I have been entrusted with a number of research tasks by Chairman Irina, as it happens. So, this is farewell for now. Hmm, that doesn't sound shady at all. But, well, stay safe, alright? Whether you're a member of Ouroboros or not, it'll never change how your, our family is made. Oh my, hmm. I'm touched to hear you say so. Please, my lady, take care of yourself. Still, let's keep in touch, okay? I'm gonna keep gathering as much info as I can through the Guild's Intelligence Network. It's not like everyone is the only place where strange stuff going down now. True. I'm particularly concerned about what's happening over in Crossbell. Anyway, I'll leave it to you. Keep my regards to Miles. You know it. Thanks for everything what you've done for us. I'm sure what we won't, uh, wouldn't have been able to come this far if not for your help. Oh, you would have been completely fine, come on. I couldn't come up with a different story. <laughs> hey, no need to get all stiff all, all stiff all of a sudden. You're embarrassing me. We might be working separately from now on, but I intend to do all I can to aid you in the future. Take care, everyone. Rain, I'd like you to accept this. I was fully expecting her to hug him just like Tova did like five minutes ago. I hope that it will prove to be of some use to you in the challenges ahead. What is it? Um, uh, okay, sure. Thank you, Captain. You've done so much for us. Why did she suddenly give it at him? I, I feel like I'm missing something, like something happened here. Especially in Ymir. I can't begin to thank you enough for helping to protect my hometown. <laughs> you needn't thank me. I just did what I felt was right. I wish you all the best in the future. Not as a member of the RMP, but as a graduate of Thor's Military Academy. Thank you. We'll do all that we can to meet your expectations. Damn, her voice is so much better than me. Than mine. <laughs> her voice is so much better than me. Yowza! Things are getting nice and steamy over there, huh? Oh? Huh. Uh oh. I feel like I'm losing in the race for most reliable big sister figure all of a sudden. Oh, you're not a big sister. Well, you get a gold star for trying. You're much bigger than that. Well then. It's time we bid you all a fond farewell for now. You know, that doesn't sound right. Chin up, Alfin. I'm counting on your charm to keep everyone motivated. May the goddess be with you. A bitch she has none, by the way. I look forward to the stories you'll have to tell when next we meet, Laura. Good luck, father. Does she tell stories? I think she never really shares with anybody about anything. Oh well. And honestly, I was expecting Sarah to come with ma'am because, like, she's well, a little grown up. I didn't hear if he talked. Anyway, uh, yeah, but I'm just happy she sticks around because, you know, Sarah, how can I say no? <laughs> I mean, come on. You think they'll be okay on their own? Oh, finger this way, Sergeant. Only the goddess herself knows for certain. Still, with some already calling this a second advent of the War of the Lions, I can only hope they make it through unscathed. Oh, come on, they're gonna be 100% fine. You kidding me? <laughs> oh, I'm sure they'll all be just fine. Yeah, I see. Listen to her. They don't bear the symbol of the horned lion for show. Did, did, uh, what? Yes, I suppose you're right. And the same goes for me, too. I can't very well call myself a Thor's alumnus and fail to deliver. Well, well, are we birds of a feather? Proud Thor's graduates unite. <laughs> I'll be in touch with them plenty in the coming weeks, so don't worry. The old guard will do as it must to keep watch over the young and vigilant. Speaking of the old guard, Chancellor Osborne was also a Thor's graduate, was he not? Huh, that's an interesting little tidbit. Yes, he was. <laughs> Sorry to say, I can't picture it. <laughs> yeah, neither can I, actually. <laughs> was he now? He and I may have had our differences, but I still feel a certain loss with his passing. I'm just trying to imagine him going with this voice and... The way he acts, like going to a cafeteria and asking some random guys to just hang out. It's just such a weird thing to imagine. I'd like to express my condolences to you while I have the chance. 
I'm afraid I never had the chance to truly get to know him. But there's no doubt in my mind that he was one of the greatest men of our time. Thank you. Hmm. So that's how she feels about him. Like, maybe she hated him. But no. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Still, it must be tough for you with Heimdall under the Alliance's thumb. Were you able to find out where his funeral was held? Actually... Uh... Captain? He is not having a funeral? Is something amiss? It's just that I received a strange report on that very issue. I was told his body was taken into the custody of the Imperial Guardsmen when the city was occupied. But then after that... It simply... Disappeared at some point. Ba -ba -ba. Disappeared, you say? Is it possible the reformist faction could have taken it from them? Yeah, now it would be really cool if he's brought back. Uh, I mean, I would see it coming, but yeah. Uh, that's an interesting little tidbit. And um, what point? I'm afraid I don't know. It is possible that the intelligence division did something to that effect. Hmm. A disappearing corpse is certainly cause for concern. It's difficult not to draw parallels with the Lance Maiden's sudden death following the War of the Lions. <sighs> Unbelievable. I'm almost impressed how much trouble one man can stir up, even from beyond the grave. He had so many plots in motion, I doubt even his death put a stop to them all. Plots like what exactly? It would be nice if you gave examples. You know what would be funny? If it was like, yo guys, we got a giant airship, let's get out of here. We don't need anybody here. Screw those guys. No change in weather or wind direction since entering Kreutzen Provincial Airspace. We are currently cruising at a speed of 3,000 SPH. You are... Elliot. Nothing abnormal detected on the radar thus far. <laughs> Look at her! <laughs> Detour around the Twin Dragon's Bridge, staying within the clouds. Take extra care that we aren't noticed by the Noble Alliance's surveillance. I don't believe that she's a little pinch her chick. Yes, ma'am. Wow. She's a real natural at this. Yeah. It's hard to believe she's only been in the position for a day. Indeed. She has proved a worthy captain in father's place. <laughs> As if anyone could fit the role better than our student council president. She still looks like a mascot character, though. Yes, she does. That's just one of her many charms. Yeah, and besides, I can feel at ease knowing she's in charge. So, today's the day we start our journey anew, right? Right. We settled what we'll be doing last night. Now all that remains is to do it. Free time. Oh, more flashbacks. Just for no reason. Why is it a flashback? Well, Toa and George should be able to handle the day-to-day -day running of the ship, so that's out of the way. And whatever we decide, it's not like we're going to be able to do anything major today. Still, I think it's time we start hammering down exactly what we're going to be doing from tomorrow onward. In theory, the Courageous gives us the ability to fly around the whole country with ease. But, in reality, the Noble Alliance has control over most of Erebonia, so we're limited in where we can actually go. Yeah, we don't want to risk getting too close to Alliance territory. We'd run the risk of being captured, or even worse, being shot down. It's sad to think how we barely have anywhere we can land with an amazing airship like this at our disposal. Care to share your thoughts on this instructor? Oh, you kids can just do whatever you want. <laughs> I like this approach. I lost the will to put in any effort after Captain Classy got off. <laughs> you slacker. I'm pleased that you think so highly of my father, but... Maybe Laura can hook you up with a one-on-one -on -one lecture on the Arsade School of Quartzmanship if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I was kidding. In all seriousness, if you need more people fighting in whatever you end up doing, I'll be happy to help you out. Just don't forget that the Courageous was entrusted to you kids, not to me. If you want my advice, then you got it. 
but you need to be able to make all the important decisions on your own. I actually like this. Uh, of course. <laughs> you almost sound like an instructor for once. Ah, shut up. Getting back to the matter at hand. <laughs> Don't worry, there's your hat. No, 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 no. This guy's gone. You need your hat. We don't need to decide everything right at this moment. What say you to figuring out how and what for now? Come again? I assume what would be our overall goal. Something realistic that we can all work together towards. And the how would be a basic idea on how we intend to achieve it? Uh-huh. It's a little trick we use in the student council. It's easier to get motivated when you have a specific goal in mind. You guys were doing the same kind of thing in the weeks before the Academy Festival, remember? Yeah... Uh... Totally. The concert was what you were working toward, and all your other planning was how you intended to pull it off. I see. That makes sense. Does it? We did spend a lot of time before and during the festival working out all the details, come to think of it. Not to mention taking care of the things we couldn't plan, like the strange stuff at the old schoolhouse. Let's not talk about that. We were coordinating with all of the other classes and clubs at the same time, too. When you break it down step by step, we did so much without even realizing it. And we may have our own personal goals right now, but if we can wrap those up into one overarching goal, it won't seem half as much. How about making it something related to the Academy itself, then? Now, I was thinking the exact same thing. I wonder what's happening there. Toa, George, the Academy is currently under the Noble Alliance's control, right? That's right. The staff and students who are there are doing what they can, but... As you know, during the attack, a lot of the students managed to flee Trista and are now scattered across the country. Now, most of the upper-class students chose to stick it out, though. They've got no reason to fear the Alliance, being nobles and all. All right, then. I think our what should be taking back the Academy. That sounds good to me. The Courageous will serve as a good means of transport, but we'll need a proper base sooner or later. But with it, we can get a better look at the current state of things in Erebonia and try to reach out to those who are in need. And whatever information we learn along the way could bring us that much closer to liberating the Academy. Can't see taking it back going that smoothly, though. What I can see is that actually achieving anything. Like, why would you take the Academy? If I were approaching this, I would stick to basically helping the military in the where we're going east. So armored division is getting attacked. What we do, we attack the HQ of whoever is in command of the attacking forces. Like that makes more sense to me. But you know, fine, go for the academy, do stupid shit. No doubt, it's near the capital, so its defenses are going to be rock solid. <laughs> and I have a reason not to. Still. I like it. What goal is more worthy of us than reclaiming something we hold so dear? You do? Indeed. Regardless of personal motivations, I can't think of an objective more fitting to us as a group. And if we actually manage to achieve it, the sky's the limit for us. <laughs> I'm genuinely moved by your positivity. Well, their optimism is probably their strongest point. Celine, that was her name. Celine, okay. We were thinking of something along the same lines, in fact, so it works out. And hey, if we all thought about it, what's to stop the others from Thor's from thinking it too? So if you happen to bump into anyone who escaped from the Academy, why not go and ask them to join us? I'm not saying it has to be your primary focus or anything, but the more people we have on our side, the better. That's a great idea! Yeah, we'll be sure to keep an eye out. Uh, we have about the bare minimum crew we need to fly at the moment, but it's not like this is their full-time job. I'm sure our current staff won't be here forever, so we're gonna need a few extra hands on board at some point. Ideally, we could have whoever's here now stick around long enough to train anyone we end up recruiting. I know our numbers are small right now, but the more people we can get on our side, the higher chance we stand of making Trista and the Academy our home again. And I don't know about you, but I get this weird sense of satisfaction knowing that we students are going to be the ones to do it. <laughs> I know the feeling, actually. Everything works for me. I'd say that's our how decided, wouldn't you? Agreed. To wrap all this up, we'll use the Courageous as our base and as a way to get a good idea of the current state of things in Eastern Erebonia. 
Along the way, we'll try to recruit as many fellow Thor students to help us out as we can. All for the sake of our primary goal, taking back Thor's military academy. Stupid idea. <laughs> okay, no voice action again. Well, I, I suppose what we need to decide next is where we should head for first. Yeah, we don't have many places we can go at the moment, but there's the Gram, Ymir, and North Highlands. We're about to land at the 4 Palmer Division's base too, right? Yeah, I did better that yesterday, and he's fine with it. Probably better for us to swing by all of them at once, really. Oh, almost forgot. Prince Oliver sent you a few requests to take care of. He did? Oh, joy. Hm, <laughs> <laughs> the details are right behind you. Um, behind us? It's probably screen. Yep, there we go. Oh, there's an old computer here. I've only ever really used one in class. No need to fear. Technology doesn't bite. Uh, it could. Plus, it'll be easier in the long run for you, if you to grab stuff from there. So go on, take a look. Sure. Damn, I have a lot of burps in me. Every time I'm trying to record burp, burp, burp. Now, oh, like us, uh, um, these are made by the Epstein Foundation, so they're identical to ones we used in class. There we go. Something popped up. So, this is how everything's displayed. Uh, Intelligence Division has some of these too, I think. Oh, okay. Monster Madness. A large mysterious monster has appeared, okay. <laughs> Good enough. I figured out where few Thor students uh, are. I know it's important to get them to join us, but I just want to make sure our first years are safe. So you'll be checking on Monica, Mint, Casper, Vivi. I'm sure they'd all make great additions to the crew. The terminal on the bridge will tell you just where you can find them. Thanks. Okay. The civilian we have taken into prote protective custody has vanished. We'll be willing to offer us a few more sets of eyes we'll as we look for him. Speak with me at the camp for further details. General Craig. Okay. But the reason trouble was them noble soldiers, they... Damn it! I'll tell you that at the end of the gram, okay? Hurry up and get over here. Okay. There's one from the Nord, one from the Gram, and one from Karelia's Proving Ground. Seems like we've got plenty of work in store for us all over the country. And how I wish it were my imagination, but I think I saw a depressingly familiar name on one of them as well. I'm kinda worried about the one that sent us. I don't think we can ignore that the unusual monster would appear in the Nord ever. <laughs> well, of course you will want to talk about Nord. Prince Olivier took the time to gather and send all of this to us himself? Wow, how'd he manage to do that? He just left for Western Erbonia. He probably had it prepared in advance. <laughs> he's just a guy with plenty of connections, especially through a Bracer Guild. He said he's going to keep finding stuff like this. What he thinks you can handle and send them your way. How many you end up doing is up to you, but I'd recommend taking care of the more urgent ones at least. Understood. I don't think any of us mind one bit. Indeed, it helps bring focus to our goal of touring the region and helping those in need. With that being said, I would assume checking the safety of our fellow tour students is our top priority. I took the liberty of giving you that one myself. It's lovely getting information on one where other tour students could be. And anytime you find something, update for computer, and who knows, maybe they'll be willing to join us too. How convenient. I'm suddenly very grateful for those classes, I guess we'll be checking this thing pretty often. Well, I think that's almost everything. When you've decided where you want to go first, let me know, okay? Oh, and George is hard at work setting up a normal factory in the ship's hold. So if you need any modification made to Arcus or any quartz, you can sort out those out there. While you're at it, it's worth checking out the other facilities on board too. It's not much now while we're short on staff, but I'm sure any students you'll recruit will get create creative with their space. Might as well. Still, do you guess mind if we figure out who is going to be making up our active party when we disembark first? I thought we are gonna make that when we're actually gonna go somewhere. Actually, if we're doing that now, would you mind including me? I'd like to see a stranger, a strange monster from the Highlands request myself. I don't mind at all. That sounds fair. I can come with if you need a hand too. Oh, of course, baby, you're coming. Come on. You just l let me know if I'm needed, okay? 
Oh, thanks, Instructor. Now, let's see. It's temporarily not possible to remove guys from body. <laughs> okay, fine. Yeah, good. Sorry, there we go. Last time I could scroll the list, I thought the people who left are gonna still be in the list, but no, they're gone. Okay, so let's just take the lowest level so I can level them up. Uh, confirm? Yep, there we go. Okay, let's get going. Right, let's go, go, go! So... Did I actually get to, like, hang out with anybody, or am I just gonna be like, yo, do the mission? Go there. I should probably do as the instructor commands and tour facilities on the board at least once before disembarking. That's not much, but it'd be smart to go see George in the ship's hold and pay Valmar a visit. Might be good to see Princess Alphen too. You can have viewers student info tab in your notebook. Uh student info in your notebook. Uh the oh, that's it. Okay. Character, recipe, fishing books, voice help. Uh, you sure I can? Because I don't see it anywhere. Is it this one? Because I think I had access to this before. Supporters. Hex and Clan, Year 2, Class. Saint Astray, Adapted. She seems to regret Selena's having saved her brother's life. Interesting. Skill bread, erasers, fucking intellect, blah blah blah. Eh, maybe I'll read it, read it at some point later on. Okay, analog stick is disabled. Ah, oh, that's all the places. Uh, but yeah, I don't need, I don't have any points. Actually, I have points, but yeah, they're not displayed. Ooh, okay. That's all the places to go. Uh, well, let's start with. Okay, first bridge. Is there anything on the bridge? No, there's not. Okay, let's get to floor four then. Then... <laughs> Just looks weird when you look at the sound. It does this very strange. Uh, I don't know how to explain it. Looks kinda like a fan. So... Okay, there we go. <laughs> This floor has a conference room and a royal room. The latter is exclusively for Princess Alphen, obviously, but I bet we'll be able to make to use. We'll be using former quite a bit. Above the fourth floor of facilities, the fourth floor contains a number of useful facilities, including a conference room and various training rooms. How are we gonna train exactly? It also contains a royal room, which, as the name suggests, was designed for members of the Imperial family on board. Right now, that's Princess Alphen. Right now, so apparently there's gonna be more people, right? There are three training rooms and all, built to train your close combat, ranged combat, and arts capabilities respectively. These can be used immediately, but you will be able to use them once you have recruited students capable of running them. How is that gonna work? Hold up, I think the melee one is open, right? What's in here? Hey Laura, what's up? I certainly didn't expect this ship to be equipped with training facilities. I've been told that we are welcome to them should the urge strike us. However, the doors remain closed and not in use. I can't imagine being given a more perfect set of wings. It's going to be difficult to repay Father and for Prince Olivia for such an incredible gift. That's true, but we know where to start. There's a lot we can do to better people's lives now that we can take to air to air. Indeed, between our swords and our ship, I'm certain we can make a difference. And together we shall do so. So what the heck are you gonna do here? Cause I'm not following. Yeah. I don't see any interactable objects. I mean, it kinda looks cool I guess, but yeah, I'm not exactly sure what are you gonna be doing in these rooms. So, princess? No, it's a conference room. Okay. <laughs> You know, when I said Princess, he appeared right in front of me. It kind of makes me think that maybe I should call him that from now on. <laughs> Although Juice is kind of a good way to call him still. Anyway, yeah, I guess there's nothing important here. Now that's the right room. Hey, Elfin, what's up? What's up, Princess? How are you doing? <laughs> Hello, Rian. Hello, Your Highness. What's the document you've got there? 
no, just a little formality I need to get through before we really get started. It's a show of the control of a ship has been temporarily passed from our family to you. And that you've been given the legitimate right to use it as you see fit. Ah, oh, right. Well, if, if you don't need my help to cross any T's or dot any I's, let me know. You've been gracious enough to join us on the ship, so the least I can do is help you out with whatever you need. Hmm. Oh, don't worry. Half of work... Uh, half of being a member of the Imperial family is paperwork anyway. I can handle it on my own. Besides, you've all helped me more than enough already. Oh yeah, I kinda busted you from that ship, you know? Okay, whatever. I never think of it. I never did thank you for a so Oh, yeah, exactly that. <laughs> what I was talking about. Thank you very much, Rin. I never truly expected that you would be the knight. But you would be my knight in shining armor. That's not something I need to be thanked for. Back in Ymir, I swore that I would rescue both you and the least from the Alliance. Now I've completed half of that task, and now I've got to finish the job. Then let me help you with rescuing her. I'll be keeping a close eye on all the... Uh, on you all the while to see if you really order the Phoenix Wings metal material. Material. Uh, what's this now? It's very exclusive honor that my family only awards every few years to people who are really deserving of it. There are three medals in all charity, love, and strength awarded to people who exemplify said virtues. Virtues. It just so happens that as a ship of the Imperial family, we have some of those medals on here, so I have, I have them to give. That's remarkably convenient. So, if you demonstrate your worthiness for any of those medals, I'd like to give them to you. <laughs> well, in your case, I'm sure it's more of a matter of when than if. I don't know if I'd say that, still, it can't hurt to try to live up to those lofty expectations. But medals or no medals, the most important thing to me right now is rescuing Elise. And helping you reunite with your family, too. <laughs> of course. Uh, so yeah, that's an explanation how you get medals. You can now read about orders of Order of Phoenix Wings in the Royal Room's bookshelf. Uh, so I assume it's uh, where? <laughs> that's not books. That's books, I think. It's a little blurry. Okay, but I can't really see where I'm supposed to read. Also, having this weird wall is very strange. Kinda looks like uh, the thing you have in prison. Yeah, I don't see any kind of interaction. Like, I'm spamming interaction button, yeah, nothing happens. Eh, anyway, whatever. Okay, so I assume that's all floor 4. So, just turn here. And yeah, let's go to 3. Alright. I couldn't read it. It's, it's, it's small and blurry. I need a bigger screen. And.
Okay, let's get this thing going. Go on, draw a card. Looks like we need to draw again. <laughs> I'm up first. Looks like we need to draw again. Looks like we need to draw again. After you, my dear. Looks like we need to draw again. After you, my dear. Begin. We draw here, right? You're first, I guess. Guess we'd better draw again. You're first, I guess. Guess we'd better draw again. You're first, I guess. I win. Then let us begin our duel. Please, draw a card. The first move is yours. <laughs> well played. I didn't expect that. Divine Bolt! Mirror! I didn't expect that. Raging Winds!
it in your notebook. Be quiet in your notebook. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do what I came here for. Okay, there it is. Hey, I'm here if you need someone to talk to, or if you just want some advice. But at the end of the day, don't forget, Prince Olivier entrusted courageous to you kids, not me. I don't think you have to worry about that. I feel studies really drove home the importance of being able to think and act on our, on our own. This is as good a chance as any for us to put those practical lessons to use. Hm, then I suppose I need to say no more. Show me the value of class 7 education and make me proud. Get more? Uh, the, this is a perfect chance for you guys to show me. You learned something from those field studies I kept sending you on. Show me the value of class 7 education and make me proud. But don't forget. If you ever need a helping hand to beat the crap out of some monsters, I'm your gal. Okay, that's it. That was the most important th thing I had to do. Like, come on! Can't end an ep episode without talking to Sarah! Jeez! Ridiculous!